what's up it is tuesday which is really like my monday um because we were off yesterday for the new year you guys it is day two day two well really day three it's january 3rd but day two of the first week of the new year and the gym is dead like what the heck where are you people where is everyone at you made it one day yesterday the gym was packed and i get it a lot of people were off yesterday but this is where it's time to make it happen. It's day two, really it's like the first day back to work and everything. Get up, get in that new routine and get your butt moving. This is the deadest I've seen the gym in weeks. Like what the heck people, this should be, this whole parking lot should be slammed. Which I mean, it's nice for me for the gym to be empty because I got through my workout pretty quick. I didn't have to wait for anything. Nobody was in my way. But come on, I wanna see people here. I wanna see people killing it. All right, that's my rant. <laughs> so to be honest with you, I'm um, I'm feeling good, a lot of energy, obviously, but like, I'm kind of like frustrated. You know, I think my period's coming back. So the last like three days, my stomach has just been so like distended, like just out there. Um, it's just like bloated and like just really watery Saturday. I probably went overboard. I had four drinks, which I don't typically do. We had, um, an untracked meal out. I had some cookies, like, you know, it was, it was just a little much for me and what I've been doing. So my weight was up, which was expected, but it normally goes back down. I've been on my plan the last couple days and my weight hasn't really gone down, but I've been having major cramps. So it's like a ghost period or maybe my period's trying to come back. Um, so I'm just holding a lot of water right now. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. I took my check-in pictures. I, you know, I look a little watery, but I actually look really full. My glutes look good, my shoulders look good. So right now I'm at 110.0, so that's uh, six pounds, 5.6 pounds really up from my stage weight which isn't bad. I mean, I'm seven weeks post show. I need to put on some weight, but like, it's like just so much water in my stomach. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to kind of take it back this week and not have two untracked meals and not have like a bunch of drinks and like have sugar, like cookie. So this week for my untracked meal, if I have one, it's probably gonna be just sushi or like fish or something like that with no drinks. I don't plan on drinking this weekend and no cookies. Like I just need to take it back a little and you know, get more back to my whole foods for a little bit. And um, that's the plan. So yeah, I have a lot of patience again this week because once again, they didn't let us work yesterday because they'd have to pay us double time. So now we have to cram everything into less days. So I have three days to see all these patients and it's really frustrating. So I have to rush, rush, rush. Um, so yeah, about to get to work. I gotta get off here and get to work. I gotta go see tons of patients today and that's pretty much all I'll have time for. You guys, I promise I'm gonna start filming my YouTube with my new camera. Nick and I spent like literally hours yesterday trying to get videos from my camera to my computer and then send them to my phone so I could edit my YouTube. What a disaster. So we're still trying to figure all that out, but I'm hoping this week I can get some more footage on my actual camera, but it's just so convenient to use my phone. So that's what I've been doing. But thank you guys as always for watching and follow along my journey. What's up guys, happy Friday. I'm using my new camera now. So hopefully this thing is on my face and I'm not just wasting time recording because I cannot see. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I just trained shoulders today. It's feeling a little bit better, this right shoulder, but it's still been giving me a lot of trouble. I really don't want to get surgery, but I might have to. I, I mean, if I really want to be able to push it in the gym, I'm going to have to. So I was just watching Phoebe's YouTube during my cardio, and her journey is incredible. And it just made me really reflect on my own journey and how proud I am of myself. You know, you guys, I, I coached myself the entire year through a 32-week prep, five shows, and I got my first win in my class. I'm nationally qualified. I got second place at the Clash, the, one of the biggest shows in Florida of the year. And it's just like, wow, I'm sitting here reflecting. I'm like... I really wanted to nationals like, 
but I know I need more muscle. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, what can I do to make sure I am ready for nationals in December? That's, I got tons of time right now, which, you know, they say you need a long reverse. I took a 17 month reverse last time and you know, I still didn't quite put on enough muscle. So I'm going to sit here and brainstorm. What can I do differently this time to bring my absolute best and see if I can make it to that national stage in December? That is my ultimate goal right now. I'll probably do the clash in November as a warm up show. See where I'm at peak myself. But you guys, I want to do nationals. I haven't done nationals since 2019, and I want to be up there. I feel like I deserve to be up there, you know? Like, I've been competing since 2018, and I love it. I love it. I don't want to stop. So, I want to turn freaking pro, man. Like, I want to be a pro. So, I'm going to do what it takes this year, and um, you guys follow along. We'll see how it goes and where I can get myself, but that's the plan. ice cream they have brand new January flavors um, they're all dairy free so tonight is my untracked meal we had sushi and now we're at downtown Disney for some salt and straw ice cream we're gonna get this little slam sample platter and Nick and I are gonna split it it's cold here in Florida tonight but we're out and about getting some steps in so we're gonna get some steps in Today's Sunday, the last day of the week, or first day of the new week, however you want to put it. I call it the last day of the week. Um, so this week went pretty well. Um, I spent the whole week kind of battling some really sharp pelvic pains. Um, I have endometriosis, and it hasn't been that bad in like three years. And I don't know if it's my period trying to come back or what. But that was just kind of um, crummy all week. And then... I'm feeling better now, I'm feeling good. My weight was up a little bit throughout the week from last weekend having drinks and an untracked, a couple untracked meals and the ovulation and period stuff I had going on. Um, and then my weight went back down. And last night I had an untracked meal, which I had sushi. And then we went to downtown Disney or Disney Springs is what they call it now. I went to Disney and we had some salt and straw ice cream. They had some new January flavors I wanted to try. And I had an ice cream cone. I have not had ice cream and an ice cream in like a cone in probably like five years. And it was so good. So that was my untracked meal. And I woke up this morning. I was only up like 0.5 pounds. Not a big deal. Um, 
but I'm still staying around the four to four and a half pounds from stage weight mark. And I wanna put on a little bit more weight. Um, and now it's been eight weeks since my show. So uh, this week I'm planning on really kind of upping my food more because I do wanna put on some more weight. Um, still hurts when I sit. I still, I swear my tailbone is protruding out. So I do want to put on some weight, but I just, I, I'm just still being like, you know, slow because I don't want to just like blow up. Um, so I think it's been going very well and that's my plan. I just like the slow approach. I've done it the other way in the past. I've had messed up reverses. I've had good reverses. I've had jack the food up quick reverses, slow approach reverses. And this is just what's best for me and my body. Um, cause I just don't want to feel like bloated and bad and just I don't know like that's just the way I look at it I, I think that the slow approach is the best approach honestly so um that's what we're doing and it's going pretty good uh I still have some days in the gym that aren't as good it's crazy this whole week I did not feel like working out at all I really had to push myself to go to the gym that's where discipline kicks in and that's from here to say like you know like i don't always feel motivated i love the gym it's crazy the gym is my happy place but i've had a few days in a row this week where i just did not want to go i think it's because i've been so busy and i was having these sharp pelvic pains i just wasn't feeling the best i didn't get very good sleep i've been super busy um but i still made it happen i stayed on my routine i stayed on track and uh I'm just really happy with how everything's going and yeah, I'm gonna, I try to film my food of the day today, like everything I eat in a day and I only filmed two meals. Like I, I just did awful at that. I haven't really been doing as good at filming lately as I was before. I just, I really need to get better at that. Uh, I just, I've really been so busy. That's it. That's, that's what it comes down to. I've had new clients I've been onboarding. I just launched a protein cookie, macro friendly. I've been working on that. Now I launched it today. So I've got cookies to bake. Um, I've been seeing a lot of patients more than I want to, honestly. So I've just been slammed. I've been very busy. Um, so we'll have more stuff coming up in the next few weeks here. And there's some posing seminars coming up that I'll be attending. I'm excited for, and I'm just going to start working on trying to get my strength up in the gym, hitting some new PRs and getting my food up more. And I will keep you guys along for the journey. Thank you so much for following my journey as always. And if you guys have any questions for me or you want to see anything different in this YouTube, comment below or you can DM me on Instagram, whatever. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Ashley Bowden Fit, and so you can look that up. Hope you guys have a great week.